What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. Today we are doing a review on the Swanson Savage Grip Line Tape Measure. That was a mouthful. This is a 25 foot version of the tape. I am unfortunately a little disappointed about this tape measure. If you're ready to hear what I have to say about it, stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's get down to the review. Now, the number one thing that the grip line tape measure advertises on the back of the packaging is that it will grip on rounded surfaces up to two inches. So this is the biggest letdown with this tape measure. So I thought it was cool. I thought that we could get some awesome results out of it if it did what it was supposed to. So I have some inch and a half PVC and no matter how I position the end of the tape measure, you can see the end of the tape measure has a um, kind of a round uh, piece that pivots around the end of it. And so it, it really just becomes more cumbersome than it does useful. So you can get it to bite a little bit, but as far as being able to uh, grip it on a pipe and then pull it out, it will not work. So um, I'm really disappointed how it will just continue to um, not grip on any rounded surface. So at an inch and a half PVC, um, we're not even within a half an inch of the two inches. So the bigger the pipe, the more uh, rounded you have on the end. So theoretically, this would only get worse in its traction abilities on that piece. So I do like that it has a magnetic tip on the end. Uh, I have noticed in using it that it does get clogged up with trash and it being uh, absolutely flush on the end, any trash that builds up here will inevitably screw up your measurement. So it's got a very robust uh, lug on the end of it and it's built really well for that purpose. It's got a nice body to it, the lock is positive, and the clip is easy to use for your belt. But if you're advertising a tape measure that can be used on rounded surfaces, this just didn't foot the bill. So, you know, at the $15 price range, it's not a bad tape measure. If I paid $30 for this feature, I would absolutely be returning this tape measure. So, you know, it has its own little features that are, are a lot different than other tape measures. But nonetheless, this thing on the end that's supposed to grip rounded surfaces just stinks. So unfortunately, I don't like it for the reason advertised uh, that it does not do what it's supposed to. So if you bought the tape measure for that fact, well, you're going to be disappointed as well. Not a bad tape measure all around. It's marked on both sides, but when it comes to tapes, I am very uh, picky and I'm kind of snobby. So you can call me uppity all you want, but this rounded end piece here for rounded edges just doesn't make any sense. So I figured I'd throw in that quick little review and that quick thumbs down for this tape measure because it's just not all that it's cracked up to be. So I hope you guys found value in this short, sweet, and simple review. And if you find value in my content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And we'll see you in the next video. Maybe we'll eventually find the perfect tape measure. The shock force is still at the top.